Frank. Frank Daniels. Yes, Frank Daniels. Yes. Frank Daniels. Uh, more new talent tonight. I can't wait to see what Alexander Cole and Amir Heathen have to offer us. Managed by Hellfire McGuire. I don't know. I see he's wearing a suit. You can't really trust a guy in a suit in the ring there as a manager, Corey. That's what I found. That's one nice suit. It's not plaid enough for me. Oh, is it raining? What? And there coming in yes, yes. from the Iowa Storm with a combined weight of 540 pounds, Farmer and Mike Thunder, the Chief of the Storm. Well, we've seen Silent Storm uh, perform individually, now we get to see them collectively as a tag team. Earthquakes here tonight. Second tremor I felt him. Yes, get help. Get that manager out of the ring there. Okay, he's Frank tonight. All right. So you, you might have to go a little harder. We're seeing seeing this debut. Seeing the debut of. Amir Heathen. Amir Heathen. And Alexander Cole. Now, I'd be curious. I want to see how Silent Hill does as a tag team. Individually, they didn't fare as well, but as a tag team, I have high hopes for them. Kicks him out of the ring. And Mike Thunder tosses him back in. Well, this is Murray. And I don't know who's I don't know. That's why that's why I went to you on that one. Storm looking well as a unit tonight. All right, now we're going to see we're going to see the clash of powerhouses. Alexander Cole's good. Okay, Alexander Cole is now in the ring now. Alexander Cole squaring up with Mike Thunder. Test of strength. They both look evenly matched. You know, although... I would give Alexander Cole a slight edge, I think. Oh, 
Wait. It looks like Mike Thunder is winning the test of strength right now over Alexander Cole. Nope, they broke even. This is a stalemate right now. Mike Thunder laying into Alexander Cole, who comes back with a, just pushes him off him like it was nothing. Oh my gosh! I never would have seen Mike Thunder as someone who would throw a drop kick like that. A, a, a thunderous drop kick. If a you thunderous will. drop kick, if you will. Yes. Amir Heathen in the ring now. Raining down blows on Amir Heathen. Oh, who's this? The manager. Oh! Cal oh. Farm requires trying to interfere. Murmur knocks him his down. The glasses are okay. The glasses, he shouldn't be interfering in the first place. He deserves all that he got right there. And now look. Amir Heathen's in control. Murmur had the match solidly under, under control until Hellfire interfered. Now, when I was president, I never stood for all this cheating. But Amir trying to choke out Murmur on the ropes. Oh, look at this. How far required with the cheap shot on Murmur. Oh, and Frank Daniels catching. Even to Mike Thunder right now, he's missing what's going on. The, the, the really? double team assault. Frank, I mean, Hank Daniels should be paying more attention. Oh, and Amir with a neck breaker. Is this it for Murmur? No, Murmur kicks out. Murmur. Alfon McGuire doesn't look too pleased here. Oh, the big man, Alexander Cole, in the ring. Murmur sagging in his arms. Oh, Alexander Cole. What a devastating body slam. Textbook body slam. Devastating. No. He's not going to get him with that. You, ne you never cover the guy with one foot. I've never been a fan of that. That's just pure arrogance on Alexander Cole's part. Well, you got to think it takes energy out of him to get all the way down, too. So he's just trying to save his, conserve his energy. Maybe, maybe it was a part of that, make him exert energy by kicking out. That's a good point there. Amir Heathen in the ring with Murmur. Murmur trying to get to his corner. Amir is not letting him. Cut him off. Amir with the DDT on Murmur. I don't know. I think that was a big kick out on Murmur's part. I think the DDT rocked him. But I mean, at the same time, the 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 pin on the the face. He just the look on his face when he's making that pin didn't seem like he knew it was going to be the end. So you think that was, again, a pin just to get him to exert energy. I see. Alexander Cole tags back in. Double chop onto... Uh, onto Murmur. Oh, another textbook body slam, is it? Yes, it is. from Alexander Cole on a Murmur. Murmur desperately needs to make a tag if he wants to stay in this match. Desperately. He's dancing with him now? Goes for the body slam again. Went to the well too many times there. And looks like, looks like... No, no tag from Murmur. Insecurity. Oh, there's a tag. Cole's still on his feet. Cole's still on his feet. Oh, wow. Mike Thunder laying into Alexander Cole with no effect. Oh, and he slams the big man 
and my thunder does. Up. And Rimmer slams Amir Heathen on Alexander Cole. Using his own partner as a weapon. Oh! Hellfire McGuire, the manager is in the ring. Why doesn't the ref call for the bell? He has no business being in that ring. No business at all. That's it. Give it to him. Bob McGuire is out, but did that distraction cost him? Is that what Hellfire McGuire is trying to do? Hellfire McGuire is down and out. Oh, now both teams are outside the ring fighting. Both teams brawling back and forth outside, outside the ring. They have to be careful or they'll both be counted out. Oh, Amir Thunder gets rammed into the ring steps by Mike Thunder. Oh! Oh! Texas oh. State tag. Look, that's it. Both are that's it. That's it. Oh, look at that. Uh, I don't think that pin should have counted. Both men were in the ring. Frank Daniels didn't have control. Well. As you were fond of saying, Corey, a win is a win, and Silent Storm makes their tag team debut win. Despite the uh, machinations of Hellfire and Maguire, who got what he deserved. Alexander Cole trying to uh, help his very injured manager, Hellfire McGuire, to the back. Some give a suspicious look to Dominic Angel. Hmm. I saw a look pass between them. I wonder. Well, Corey's my broadcast partner tonight. He, he's not involved in this match, so I don't think anything is going to happen. Corey, did I, was it me or did I just see a look pass between you and uh, Dominic Angel over there? Thank you. I'm proud of him, man. I mean, the show that I run is called Evolving with Corey Castle, and that is exactly what I've seen Angel do. He's done nothing but evolve who he was when he first got here into this person who can tell compelling stories and really be confident in his words. Contrary to popular belief, Miles Hawkins did barely win his title by cashing in his money, his uh, Stairway to Heaven briefcase. Stairway to Glory. Stairway to Glory briefcase. There is no Stairway to Heaven. Denied. Wow. Good one, Corey. We haven't. Can we? Can we make sure we don't gloss over the fact that the ring announcer said that Miles was from Florida? I knew I didn't like him for some reason. There it is. Florida's gross. Whatever have you got against Florida? It, it sucks, and there's lots of, lots of, lots of critters down there who will kill you. Well, oh, look at that. Uh, uh, a handshake between the two of them. That's good. Yes. 
Corey, Corey, you, you sit down, please. Sit down, please. You don't have to be uh, so over dramatic. Dude, this guy's my friend. I'm, I'm wanting to support him. But you're, you're, you're broadcasting. To we have to call a match. We have to be impartial. All right. We'll be impartial. Impressive head scissors by Angel. You see, you see Miles grabbing the hair. I don't see it. Nobody, nobody, nope. nobody can, nobody can defend against that. That's you're, you're trying that's, to say he's a decent. That's champion. a headlock. That's a fair headlock. He's got him right by the hair. That's a fair headlock takedown, Corey. Being, you're, I think you're being a tad over biased. Look at that. Oh, look how Miles got out of that. That was just, that was a good. Just a, look, just look at the the smoothness in the motion of Dominic. And Miles too. They are they're both uh, equally matched. It's it's a it's a good competition here. Look at that tight collar that will tie up. And look how uh, Miles is locked in that headlock. Shoulder tackle by he's Miles. Not, he's not faced. He's, he's good. Angel goes down again. Drop down. Hip. Dominic Angel with the hip toss. Oh. Miles Nick kicks up. him off. Big body slam by Miles Hawkins. Again, Dominic Angel kicks him off. Good exchange between the two of them. Good exchange. Angel's got something to prove to his friend here. He's sincere in his message. Of, uh, look, he made me wear my broadcasting hat today. I'm here broadcasting. I'm not even allowed to be ringside. Fourth control keeps going back and forth oh, between. Too much hesitation from Miles there, and, and Angel got the better of him. Now it's now going got... back and forth. No, no, look, look. Miles is uh, trying to get out of it, and he's backing him into the corner, which is going to force the break. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. he hit him right in his eye. No, hey, hey. He hit him right in his eye. That was, you saw that. He did not rake his eyes. I was looking. My, I think uh, my, uh, Miles. Miles is uh, being not framed a clean here. Break, but he hit him in his eye. Dominic Gage was trying to pull something here. You call that a clean break? You call that a clean break? Clean break his jaw. An impactful suplex. Uh, Dominic Angel exhibiting a bit more viciousness than he did when he first started this match. Follow, follow it up. Follow it up, Angel. Hey, you're here as a broadcaster, not a manager, Corey. Take, take it home. Again, Corey, you're broadcasting. You don't give him any any help. Miles Hawkins with the elbow. Can you imagine the DCW Heavyweight Championship and the DCW No Limit Championship being inside the Spark? That's that's a banner day for the Spark. That's exactly that's exactly why I I try to groom this this young stud of Dominic Angel to be championship material. I've evolved into the impressive specimen you're seeing right here when it comes to when it comes to strategy, when it comes to To, to be fair, Dominic is, do, is doing well right now for himself. Miles with a kick out. I don't know if you've noticed it, but but look how smooth the transition is on top of that. I mean, something we don't take enough consideration just being fans and watching wrestling is the, the ring positioning is super you know, important. And I, Dominic I think, I think you're that. being a bit biased towards uh, Mr. Dominic Angel here, Corey Castle. What do you think about Miles' performance? I think Miles Hawkins is also doing very well for himself tonight. He's overrated. But again, you're supposed to be an unbiased uh, broadcaster. Will you ask me my opinion? He's overrated, but yet he's the champion. He's just a... He cashed in unfairly. Un unfairly? Yes. He won a steroid heaven. Look at, that suplex. Look at that suplex by Miles Hawkins. Tell me that wasn't that wasn't a thing of beauty. Dominic Angel looks rocked. Yeah. With the clothesline. Flying clothesline. That was a four. That was an elbow. Power, power slam. There we go. I'm Going for the pin. You hear how I'm biased on being? I called that. Yes, see, you did. Yes, you did. Slam. We should see more of this from you. This, I like this side of you. See? See? We're all evolving. And again with the cheap club. Oh, I don't even know what that... That was a flying back kick by Miles Hawkins. Wow, that looked good. Oh! Landed on his feet with a moonsault off the top. And, oh, Dominic Angel has to poke him in the eyes. 
what kind of what kind of cheap move was that? It's funny. You just you you got so impressed by him missing a moonsault. He landed on his feet. He anticipated and compensated for it. So yes, that's impressive. The crowd firmly behind Miles Hawkins in this match. Okay, good suplex by Corey. Where are you going? Corey, my broadcast uh, partner has decided to uh, stand up. And what, Corey? What are you doing? He's grabbed. He's grabbed. What is he? He's grabbed the hammer. Oh, Corey. Corey, come back to the broadcast table. What is he doing? Corey. Corey Castle is. He's approached the ring with the ring bell hammer in his hand. What? What is he? What is he planning here? Corey, come back to the ring. You're not involved in this. You're not even on the cart. Corey Castle has just slid the ring hammer to Dominic Angel. I can't believe he did that. I can't believe you did that. What did you just do? You're not ringside now. What did you just do? You slid Dominic Angel the, the hammer. Oh, but Miles ducks it anyway. Oh, and with a double boot. Guess that... Uh, didn't matter, did it, Corey? Nice try there. Oh, and Miles Hawkins to the top rope. What's he going to do here? Oh! Flying elbow. Oh, my gosh. What a hold. What a move. One, two, three, and that's it. That's it. Gee, I wonder why she couldn't ring the bell, Corey Castle. Why couldn't she ring the bell? What, what do you call it? Do you have any work, anything to say for yourself, Corey Castle? I don't have to justify myself to you. You got up and handed Dominic Angel the ring bell. It did nothing of the sort. I saw you with my own two eyes. You tried to cheat, and it backfired on you regardless. Listen to that. The crowd loves Miles even more because of what you did. So nice job, Corey, in oh, look, helping us. Yeah, because you gave it to him. You gave it to That's him. That's unprofessional. Why don't you take it back? That's unprofessional. Why don't you take it back? That's a champion in your eyes. That unprofessional. Yes. Who gave that him? A weapon. How did how did that get in the ring? How did that hammer get in the ring, Corey Castle? What do you have to say well, well, for yourself? Shut up! The deeds is out here now. And now Sonny Deeds complimenting Miles Hawkins on a successful title defense. Okay, he's asking, I think Sonny Deeds is asking for a rematch, I believe. Okay, shook his hand. That's that's good sportsmanship from Sonny Deeds, unlike this person I'm seeing next to me here. Oh, and look at this. You call that good sportsmanship? Dominic Gage are hitting Sonny Deeds from behind. What do you call that? He hit some of these from behind. Exactly, exactly. Chastising Dominic Angel is uh, Miles Hawkins. That is bad. That's not bad. Wait a minute. Why is, why is Sonny Deeds doing that? Why did he feel the need to soup to give Miles Hawkins a spine buster? I hope you can live with yourself, Corey Castle. Sonny Deeds clearly sending a message to Miles Hawkins here. Message being, I want my rematch. <laughs> he could have sent it another way, but message received and understood, I believe. Now with that brings another end, brings an end to another episode of DCW Overdrive. So for myself, Craig Prendergast, and my co host, the uh, questionable Corey Castle. You could say the broadcast journalist and DCW No Limit Champion, Corey Castle. Yes, with questionable ethics, I will add as well. We wish you a good night and we'll see you next week.